Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get a hat from Maya into Team Fortress 2's item test level and eventually the Steam Workshop. So first off, we're going to download Team Fortress 2 through Steam. It's free to download. We're going to want to launch it at least once to get all the assets prepared. Then we're going to want to go up to Games, go down to Tools, and search for Source SDK. We're going to want to download and install that, and then we're going to need our hat in Maya, of course. We're going to need our diffuse and normal maps in Photoshop, and that's it. So, we are going to want to position and scale this correctly, and to do that, we're going to download something that I have in the description that Valve has provided for us the 3D heads of all of the TF2 characters. So we're going to want to position and scale our hats in relation to this model. And that looks fine to me. Next, we are going to want to triangulate this. And we're going to export selection as an OBJ export. Now if you don't have this option, go up to Window, Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager, scroll down to the bottom, and you should find OBJ export. You're going to want to tick Loaded and Auto Load, and close out of that. So now you can export selection. We are going to name this Closet Hat LOD1. Um, don't name yours Closet Hat, I doubt yours is a Closet Hat, but make sure to include the LOD one, just uh, so you can identify it later on. We're going to export that. Now next, we're going to need an LOD two. Basically, this asset will be what shows up when we're the closest to the character. It's the most detailed final version of the asset. When we're further away, we're going to want to reduce the quality to save up on uh, all of the resources and whatnot of whatever platform is running it. Otherwise, it's just kind of a waste because you can't tell what that is from all the way over here or over here. But up here, you know, whatever. So we're going to go to Mesh. Oh, this is the easy way to do it. I could go in and manually delete things and you'll probably want to do that because it's uh, probably better in the long run but I'm going to go to mesh save myself time and click reduce and go to the options um, I'm pretty sure defaults 50 that's a bit much we're going to reduce this by about 10% Sitting at 694 tries, we'll want to reduce that for LOD2. We're going to hit apply. I don't notice anything really. Down to 604. We're going to hit export selection. We want to name this LOD2. You only really need two LODs. Um, we'll do another just to see how that works out and export selection down to 521 tries and name that LOD3 we don't have to include that if it's all goofy but you know next up we're going to want to launch source SDK actually we're going to want to launch Photoshop um this is only if they aren't the correct size. Yeah, these are a bit big. Um, Valve prefers it if they're about 512 by 512, or even better, 256 by 256. I'm going to go with 256 by 256 for these. I'm going to resize them. And then I'm going to save them. Oh. Why not? So this is my diffuse, I'll just throw in TF2, don't want to override that. 
Same with this one. My normal. TF2. Make sure these are targets. Now we're going to want to open up Source SDK. You're going to want to hit Item Test. If you run into this issue, um, I have a solution in the description. It's just very long and I don't have time for that in this video. But eventually you'll hit the solution and this will open up. Well, not right there, right here. So this is the name of the hat. I named this close or closet hat. This is the class it's going to go on. So earlier we used the mesh for the heavy class in TF2. I'll stick with that. And you're going to want to make sure this is ticked. This makes sure that the object doesn't end up on the ground. You're going to have a bad time if it's not bound to the head. It won't make sense. And you're going to click next. So this is our first LOD. This is how the object appears when the player is as close to it as possible. This is the most detailed one. So this is our LOD one. Um, I oh whoa. We're going to go to. Where did I put all this stuff? Users, me, desktop. Closet hat just because. All right, you're gonna choose your most detailed variant of the object. You can also tell by their file sizes. That's quite drastically more. Open that. Browse for LOD one. Open that. And browse for LOD two just because. Click next. Now our Material type, we're not going to want to mess with that. Material type primary, you, you really don't need to mess with any of this. Uh, click common texture, this will be your diffuse, normal map will be your normal map. So we're going to hit, make sure it's the uh, smaller one, drastically smaller, <laughs> and our normal map. and hit next and then hit compile. Uh, these are the directories where it's going to save all your stuff. Um, all of this is going to be located computer program files 86 steam steam apps common um, team fortress 2 Uh, we don't need these. Um, yeah, we we only care about uh, these two: Team Fortress 2, TF, and the Materials and Models folder. So it helps to have this open for later when we want to export this to the Steam Workshop. So we're going to compile. It's really fast. Dismiss and continue. Uh, we'll quit item test. And next, you're going to want to open up Team Fortress 2 through Steam. I've already got that open here. You're going to want to go to Workshop. You're going to want to load Test Map. Now, this is the fun part. Sluggish load times. If I were a video editor, I would have uh, skipped through all of that, I'm sorry. Uh, it doesn't matter what team you're on. It doesn't matter what class you choose. I probably shouldn't have chose this class. you got this big gun covering the, the screen. You're going to want to hit the tilde. Um, it's, it's in the top left corner of your keyboard beneath the escape key. That'll bring this big thing up. If that doesn't come up, it's likely because you hit the wrong button or you don't have 
this ticked, you're going to want this ticked. You're going to access that through the options, advanced, enable developer console. So now that we've got this open, you're going to type in item test, one word, no caps. That'll open up this. So from here, you're going to want to choose the class that you made the hat for. If it doesn't really matter, you can choose all classes. I'm going to go with that. And you're going to want to add it as headgear. Select model. And you're going to want to find the if you chose the class that you had chosen back in a uh, source SDK it'll uh, it'll find it automatically so here I'll show you I chose the heavy headgear add select model it's right there if you need to find it because you're using it for a different class you can find it I'm going to TF Models, player, items, heavy, and it's going to be in here. Um, I've been messing with this a lot, but this is the one that I just made, um, I believe. Yep, Sunday. So you're going to open that up. Um, you can choose from these options. They suggest you hide the hat. This hides uh, the previous model that would have shown up on that uh, character, so I guess go with that. Um, that's all we really need. Uh, hit OK and apply test items. Close out all of that, and there is your hat on a TF2 character. And it's really cool because it automatically adds the collision mesh. because a closet hat makes sense. Um, so next, you're going to want to add this to the Steam Workshop, right? Because you want to make money off of this. Um, they want a zip file. So, oh, and they want a preview image. So, you know, it helps if you, uh, Get a neat looking render of it. We're going to be lazy and probably use a texture map or something because I'm going to take it off immediately because I don't want a closet hat. Nobody wants a closet hat. So that uh, folder I told you to open up earlier in uh, Steam Apps, Common, this is the wrong one. Game Fortress 2. TF. Now we've got both the models and the materials folders. We're going to want materials, models, player, items, heavy. We're going to. This is the folder I. Oh, wait, where is it? Right here. For valve. going to throw this in there make sure it copies over it only copied over by default because it's on a different hard drive than this and then you're going to want to back out of that TF models player items heavy I'm gonna want to throw this in there Um, I have a lot of things in here, but this is the one I was working on. So, this is everything you need. We are going to zip this up. And we're going to send that to Valve. Closet hat. The 
you might want a better picture than the one I'm going to use for this. Maybe a neat looking render or something. Just make sure it's a an aspect ratio. Make make sure it's like five twelve by five twelve or whatever related to that, so it scales down properly. So a perfect square. I want to use my diffuse map. Yeah, that's a cool picture. We're going to browse or valve zip. Open that up. I'm going to tag this as the heavy, like I was uh, working with it for. Um, they've got all these other things though. You got weapons, miscellaneous, which uh, pretty much covers the sound in Halloween devices. And we're going to import that. Or not out of that um I believe this is just more detail yeah we don't need any of that um and we're going to submit it yeah um I guess agree to this Make sure you own all the rights to the object you made and whatnot. Um, there may actually be something against um, being able to publish something created with the student version of Maya for profit. So be careful of that. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. Um, yeah. So that's how you do all of that. If you have any questions, please leave them in the com comments below. Um, I would have loved to actually publish this, but nobody wants a closet hat. Thanks for watching.